Hello people. Hopefully this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to upload a new world to VRChat. First thing you're going to need to do is download the correct version of Unity, 5.6.3p1. Down the links here, I'll put that in the description. Next thing you need to do, get the VRChat SDK, so log in, obviously. Download the SDK and then we'll get started. So here's a new project. I've already made it, not gonna show the flow there. The only thing I've done is already imported the SDK, which I'll show you how to do. You can go up here and click import new asset, or you can just go find the thing and uh, double click it with Unity open. It'll all import, and let's just see what happens here. It'll start decompressing some stuff. Hope I'm not wasting too much time here. Normally this list would be full of stuff and then you'd be able to click the import button, but since I've already imported it, it's already done. Awesome. So we got our scene here. I've moved some of the panes around uh, so make sure to look at the names of the things if they're different. Generally, services will be there. So uh, one thing that I'm just going to like go ahead and get out of the way is uh, click up here at the VR Chat SDK settings, click settings, and uh, bring this up. So if you're just importing this and haven't done so already, you'll need to log in. Kind of important because you can't upload anything if you're never logged in. So I'm just going to drag that down there to get rid of it. Second thing that we'll need to do is go to the show build control panel. Most of this is stuff for later, but oh, can't do anything yet, so I got out of descriptor. Okay. First thing inside the inspector here. Let's go to hierarchy, create, 3D object, cube. I'm gonna make this our floor. Now, annoyingly, whenever you do that, it puts it some weird location, so I'm just gonna go ahead and reset that at 000, zero, zero and double click to focus on it. Uh, pressing the WASD moves you around the camera right clicking to view look around. Okay, so I'm gonna make this the floor. Let's make it a little bit bigger. So all these units here are in meters. So let's make it 10 by 10. It's big enough floor. One other thing I like to do is I like to make the floor like the top of it centered at zero, 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 or just zero height, which is not true at this because the center of the cube is at zero, zero, zero instead. So easy way to do that. I know simple math here, but Take the scale of the Y, paste that into the position of it, put in some math, so divide two, press enter. Now that's half, but the problem is that went up. We need to make it go down. All right, floor is at zero. Next thing we want to do is uh, go create a new empty object and rename it to whatever you want. I'm gonna call it descriptor, if I can spell. And this is uh, how we're going to upload it. To VR chat. So type in VRC underscore scene and type or press enter for scene descriptor. Now we have our scene. This is what will tell VR chat about our world here. Uh, can't upload it yet. We have no spawns. We need to create a spawn. So right here, click the little down arrow. I don't know how many spawns you want. I'm just going to put one as a little object. So what I like to do is create a game object here. And calling it spawn. You can have multiple, doesn't matter. I like having it at zero, zero, zero. This blue arrow, the Z indicates where people are going to face, so keep that in mind. Now take this, drag it right in there. Now people will be able to spawn right at that location. Move it around if you want. Um, other things, not really important for like uh, like stuff right now, but what would you like your respawn height? Well, since this world has no edges, I'm going to to change that instead of negative 100, which is a long fall, just to negative uh, 1. Other thing, if you decide to have pickup objects later, if you want them to go back to respawn after going past that height, respawn. Let's see. Uh, this world has no jumping. If you want jumping, let's add that in. BRC underscore player mods. They don't really like it, but deal with it. Is player mod room. Let's add a new mod jump. Uh, don't really care about what the exact level is. Default's fine. We're good enough. So now we have a world. Everything is pretty much ready here. So now that we have everything, has a scene in scripture, we can go over here and back into this VR chat settings or build control panel as they called it. We're going to need to click some buttons setting up the layers. This is for physics stuff. Don't need to read that. You're probably not going to mess with physics in collision unless later tutorials. I don't have any audio in here at the time, but 
Press this button anyway. It's always going to be there because it's always going to try and change things. Okay, so you can test the world by uh, clicking this new build button here. Uh, there's nothing really to test, so it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this under the publish link, new build. Oh, I got to save it. That's important. Doesn't matter on however you structure your stuff. I'm just going to do this because that's how I've always done it. Or Yeah, name it whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to call this tutorial zero. <laughs> As it future proofs my content. Okay. Interesting thing about this future proofing content, basically whenever you click the new build, it will save your scene into its own project. So in case you ever lose it, you can just always go back to that exact version. So bringing up my project folder here, if it'll let me. Tutorial zero scene, yes. Unity package, if I ever wanted to get back. So in the game view, we now have this, configure your world. You can uh, type whatever you want. Tutorial zero, doesn't matter. Player count, doesn't matter. Description, probably just gonna set it with the world. Click this button, we can click upload. I'm not gonna actually do that because I don't really wanna upload this world. You can also find in the scene editor over here, VRC camera. This right here is what's going to update in this over there. So click on these things, drag it around, however you want. Interesting things, if you wanna rotate it, you can do that and it'll still follow that, but you can also click these buttons here to like say where, like orientation wise. You can click the upload button, take a while to actually finally upload, but if you don't want to, just unclick the play button. Pretty good. Yeah, and that's pretty much it for uploading a world. We've got jump, we got spawns, we have nothing. This is not meant to be a Unity tutorial, so you want to add other things, like probably find like terrain editors to make interesting stuff like that. Just the basics here. If you thought it was bad, there's probably other things that you can add into this, like say, random object for like pickup, random cube here, super tall, moving it to zero, scaling it down to 0.1.1, it's tiny now, just make it go up a little higher, add component, pick up, there you got a pickup object, everything's good. <laughs> was not actually expecting to do that for this tutorial, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you thought it was bad, I mean, you can watch the tutorial I learned how to make uh, VR chat worlds by uh, Fruit Pex. <laughs> I'll put the description or link in the description anyway. I don't know if people will go to it. Pretty good, pretty fast. Hopefully not too fast. Yeah. End of the uh, first tutorial. I should start doing triggers in the next one. Thanks for watching.